What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. The long and drawn out potential matchup has finally landed on the date. The fight I'm talking about is the Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosos unification matchup. As Lopez will be risking his WBO. WBA and IBF lightweight titles versus number one contender and mandatory in the IBF, oh, George Cambosos. The date is October 4th. Going to take place in the MSG, but in a small room, Hula Theater. Fight's going to take place on October 4th. Now, it was originally supposed to take place on October 5th, but due to the potential that the New York Yankees We'll be playing a wild card game against the Boston Red Sox on October 5th in the same city. Ryan Kavanaugh decided, who's the founder of Triller, decided to move the fight to October 4th. Now, this takes me back to the old school boxing, back when the Ali and Frazier won. Peter people don't know this, but that fight was on a Monday night. You know, these fights not always been on Saturday nights and Friday nights, these big pay-per-view fights. That fight was on a Monday night. If I'm not mistaken, Leonard versus Hearns 1 was on a Monday night. That was on a weekday. So it's going to be kind of like a reminiscent of old school boxing as Teofimo Lopez will take on George Cambosos. Now this fight is not on the caliber of either one of those two fights that I just mentioned. But it just uh, kind of reminds me of old school boxing for the fact that it's taking place on a Monday night. Now I will be going against Monday Night Football. The Las Vegas Raiders will take on the Los Angeles Chargers. And it'll take a, a place on the same week leading up to Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. There's only one Tyson Fury. Takes on Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. To this day, as I'm expecting a sold-out crowd to be in attendance for that matchup. As we're going to see what's what, we're going to see if Tyson Fury is indeed the number one guy in the heavyweight division. Or is Deontay Wilder re ready to retake his claim at the WBC heavyweight champion and the number one guy in the heavyweight division? The winner of this hopefully will take on the winner of Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. Now, if Usyk wins, I already know that Eddie Hearns got a rematch clause in the contract that states that Anthony Joshua must get an immediate rematch. But if Anthony Joshua wins, Hopefully he stays true to what him and his promoter been saying, that they want to be undisputed. It doesn't matter who holds that belt. They want that green belt, that being the WBC. But I find it highly unlikely, far highly improbable if Anthony Joshua defeats Alexander Usyk and Deontay Wilder defeats Tyson and Gypsy King Fury. I don't think Eddie Hearn wants no part of that fight right now. I think they'll take care of their mandatory in the WBA against, I believe, would be Trevor Bryan. They'll take that fight on, and then they'll live to uh, talk about maybe taking that fight on at a later time, a later date. But they're not looking to take care of that fight, uh, face off on that fight next. Best believe that. So we will see what happens, and we will see what transpires. But that's the breaking news. Teofimo Lopez takes on George Cambosos. I think this fight is going to be a little bit more competitive than the experts think. I think George Cambosos is a live dog, but I just think the power in both hands by Teofimo Lopez will ultimately be too much for George Camboso, who doesn't seem to have a pop in his uh, punches that Teofimo Lopez. And I think the skill level that Teofimo Lopez possesses is at a higher level than George Camboso. George Camboso is a solid fighter. He's a guy that's very uh, skillful, but he's just not great in any one particular category. He don't have the power to keep Teofimo Lopez off of him and he don't have the technical skills to outbox Teofimo Lopez. He just got to hope that George, he's got to hope that Teofimo Lopez is overlooking him, looking at a potential matchup with Vasily Lomachenko, aka The Matrix, which is uh, in all probability will take place if uh, Lomachenko gets by uh, his next opponent. I think he's fighting December 11th. He's taking on the fighter from Ghana. His name escapes me right now. He's been in the ring with Teofimo Lopez previously. He's fought Robert Easter Jr. He's fought a guy from uh, overseas, Kalava, Kalafa, whatever his name is. He's been in there with some uh, big-time fighters. If he gets by that fight and Teofimo Lopez is successful against George Cambosos, 
top ranking Bob Aaron would be looking to put that fight on ESPN pay per view in the first quarter of 2022. So let me know your thoughts about this fight going down October 4th. October 4th is going to be a good weekend in the sports world. We got Lopez versus Cambosos October 4th. We got the New York Yankees potentially in a wild card. One in advance type of matchup with the Boston Red Sox. A one and done for the loser. A one in advance for the winners. I'm, you know, similar to the March Madness format in college basketball. Survive in advance. And those two guys, those two teams are bitter rivals. One of the best rivals, rivalries in the sports. You know, that's right up there with the, the Duke, North Carolina rivalry. Ali Frazier in boxing. There you go with the Yankees and the Red Sox. They got the Cowboys and the Redskins in the NFL. So that's just one of the biggest rivalries, rivalries in the sports world. And uh, it'll be an epic matchup going down October 5th. And then four, day later, four days later, we get the matchup, the most anticipated matchup in the heavyweight division probably since, I dare I say, probably since, And here in the United States, probably the most anticipated matchup probably since uh, Lennox Lewis versus Vitaly Klitschko. That fight took place in Los Angeles, California, IA in the Staples Center. So we will see what happens, and we will see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts about this particular matchup, who you like. I like Teofimo Lopez by knockout. I see him stopping a game, George Cambosos, in the eighth round to retain his WBO, IBF in WBA lightweight titles. Let me know your thoughts who you like in this particular matchup. And subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. And I holler.